What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the Tacoma again, specifically the front end. We will be installing the Stage Series 30 inch light bar from Diode Dynamics. I'll have all their contact information down in the description below along with the link to this specific light bar. With everything out of the box now, we have some instructions. There's two smaller brackets there with some hardware to all of this wiring and it does have a on off switch so I'm gonna find somewhere to put that two larger brackets, and then the light bar itself. And this does have six kind of individual sections in the front of it, and those are gonna line up with the six individual slots in the lower section of the grill. So if you can see these right here, this bar is gonna go on the back side of that and basically kind of fill that in. So while you can see it's kind of empty space right now, you're really not gonna see this bar unless it's on and running or you actually notice that it's there. So there shouldn't be any drilling or anything like that. I am going to take the grill off just to give me a little bit more room behind the bumper. So with the grill out of the way, the next thing that I need to do is remove both of these kind of plastic shrouds. There's one on each side, obviously. I went ahead and removed this one already. Just to show you, this is going to give me better access to the crash bar bolts. There's two on this side and then two on the other side, so four total. We're going to be reusing that location for these larger black bars. So you can see there's two holes on one side, but once those bolts are in place, then we have a good mounting area for the light bar, so you can see those slots there. So to remove these, there's just a couple plastic tabs. I kind of loosened this one up a good bit but you can see these tabs, there's uh, two on the back side and then one that goes through this hole here. Same on the one that was on the other side. There's a little push pin plastic thing that goes on that side. Since these are pretty important bolts, they hold the crash bar in place, uh, they need a little persuasion. And I got an extension here so I can uh, easily break those off a little bit more. I have, uh, I've never had these bolts off before, so they're gonna be a little bit snug there. That's just gonna take me a little bit of time to get these off. I will uh, add some Loctite and torque these back down once I put it back on. There we go. Oh, take two. Oh, this one's actually much easier to do. Just get your hand right behind the headlight here. I went ahead and put the passenger side here back together. You can see that the bracket is on my side of this black plastic, uh, whatever spacer you wanna call this thing is. And then you can see on the other side, hopefully all the way down there is where it's bolted to the crash bar. So this was kind of a two-handed job. You had to finagle it to where the, um, the bracket went up underneath the bottom of this tray, but at the same time, it's on both sides as well. All right, on to the driver's side, and this is where I was saying you need two hands to do it. I'm pretty much gonna lay this bracket flat on the crash bar. It's pretty flexible, uh, so you have a little bit of wiggle room to work with it. This would be the point where half of that bracket is on one side of this, the other half is in my hand, and now I can look at where I need to line it up, because once I get it lined up just like that, I can put this back together. You can see this part of the bracket right here, it's flat up underneath this piece, so it's flat against the crash bar, and then way down on this side, you probably won't be able to see it that well, way down in there are the two bolts on the back side of the crash bar there. Uh, so effectively, that bracket is in place. We have this bracket nice and lined up here with the hole up here for the light bar itself. So I'm placing this light bar, I think what I'm gonna do is take the side that has the wire and have that on the driver's side because the battery is right there. I may not have to have as much wiring as if I had it on the passenger side. So I don't have to worry about maybe any extra wiring. So I'm gonna do it that way. Going from the driver's side seems to be the easiest way to do it. And so now the hard part is gonna be putting in both of these bolts on the side because I need to get on the other side of this bracket. So in between this plastic we were messing with earlier and the, uh, the back side here to go through that slot into the side of the light bar. So that's gonna take me just a little bit of time. All right, so as you guys just saw, I did end up taking, I didn't take the whole front bumper off, but I loosened it up on both sides so that way I could get this tool in between this plastic and the bolt. I tried for maybe a half hour or so trying to do it with the bumper on, but there was just no getting around it. I couldn't figure out the best way. I couldn't even get the tool on the back side. So you will have to disassemble the front bumper. It takes less than a minute to do all of that to get it loose enough to do that. Uh, so right now I have the bumper kind of mocked up uh, where it would be in place. Uh, I have all the holes lined up, nothing is bolted in. 
Um, so that way we can take a look at the fitment of the light bar. And as it sits right now, this is kind of a sneak peek of how it will look. I still have the plastic on. I'm going to go ahead and remove that now that I have the light bar in place. But so far, I really like it. The fitment is great. You can not see it more than I thought, but it is nice that it's hidden. You don't have to cut anything again. And uh, everything is lined up perfectly with the factory mounts, which is nice. We're going to get onto the wiring here in a second. But I just wanted to touch base with all of these other parts I have laying around. This is a universal kit, so a lot of those brackets I didn't have to use. Uh, those aluminum ones I thought I had to. But it turns out for the Tacoma I just needed these brackets. So now onto the fun stuff. That is the wiring. So I have it laid out just so you can see it. Here is the on off switch. That leads us all the way up to our relay and our power on the battery. So this is as simple as putting your positive and negative on. I need to find some place to bolt the relay in. And then this portion here will hook up to the actual bar itself. And all I did was just kind of snake it on the other side of this up and through the back side of the headlight and then right here. So I'm going to have plenty of room for this connection down in this area. Wiring is actually pretty easy. It's not all that complicated. So you can see I have the new relay on the left side here. I went ahead and moved my other one just out of the way a little bit so that way I can kind of start fresh. I have the positive and negative wires which I will hook up last. I tucked away all of that cable so I probably had five or six feet. It's all hidden behind here. Same as the other cable that I had. You can see it all the way up behind here. So just to clean it up inside the engine bay you can probably see all of it coiled up right there and then this is my end and then the power for where'd it go the power for the the light bar is right here so i can easily connect these two up and have them kind of hidden to the side here now what i need to do i have all this wire for the switch and i'm going to follow my other cable you can see it right here goes all the way down hopefully i can zoom in enough for you guys so hopefully you can see this cable right here goes all the way behind that grommet and then into the actual cabin so all i need to do now is fish this one through the same way one thing that i didn't notice real quick before i started doing this i can actually detach about two feet the switch is on the very bottom there and then there's a connection here so what i'm going to try to do instead of taking the switch off i just have it disconnected like you'll see and i'll try feeding this part through the firewall it shouldn't be too bulky, but if I get that through, then I have enough wire here uh, to put the switch wherever I want. I have the engine bay all cleaned up now. I had to reposition this one just so I had enough wiring for the positive and negative. So this is the engine bay cleaned up. I have all the wiring tucked away behind here. I have it tucked away up behind here. You can see the wire going down to the firewall. And now it's time to connect the switch. So I didn't have to unplug the switch or anything. And now what we're going to do, you can already see this is the other end. So what I need to do is just mate those together, tuck those up away nicely. And just for a test, I already have that hooked up. We're going to go ahead and put that in the on position and then walk around. <laughs> there we go. Look at how bright that is during the day. I'm going to do nighttime shots. So stay tuned for the rest of this video uh, because obviously it, it doesn't do much justice now other than showing that it does work and it is super bright. So let's get back to the location of this switch. So the best place I have found to put the switch, this is all of the extra wire that I have. I'm simply just going to put it in the same location as my other light uh, because I already know pretty much how to do this. And basically I just need to pop this entire box out. And once I have this popped out, you can see everything is attached back here. This is the other light that I have that's very similar to this one. So I'm going to put this on the side of the box and just drill a hole basically right around here. Uh, so everything here just gets disconnected. Very easy to do all of this. You just have a couple tabs. With this out of the truck now, I'm going to put the light on the right side of it. Just with everything that you can see behind this once it's removed, there's too much on this side to put any wires or anything. So I'm going to put it on this side here. I have my spade bit and the drill press. Very clean cut with the bit that I use, so I really don't have to do any sanding or anything. I didn't show you guys putting everything back together, but really simple. It looks exactly like it did when I took it out. So now I don't think you'll be able to see on camera, but in the very back I have one switch. And now on the far right there, I have the other switch. So just by turning that on, you'll see the illuminating light. And then we can check out that Diode Dynamics 30 inch LED light bar. We are losing light now and this would be a perfect time to kind of see how these lights do in the dusk. So now just pushing on that button there, 
look at the range that these lights have. I can see all the way to that pole, way off in the distance, right in the middle of the screen there. And just to compare these to the headlights, you can see they stop kind of at the bottom of that hill. And then even if I overlay these on top of the headlights, now we can even see up that hill. So they, they are very, very bright. Looking at them from this side now, just to see them on the truck, kind of just getting right in the, right in the line. Oh my gosh, that is, that is crazy bright. I love how integrated it is right behind the bumper and it might be hard to see at nighttime, but you can just see, oh that is a cool angle. You can just see the slats in the grill there, nicely hidden and tucked away. You wouldn't even see it during the day, which is very cool. So we're just gonna do some driving just to see how these perform and just see uh, what's ahead on the trail here. And as you just saw the clip of the truck coming towards the camera, that just gives you a good, a clear shot as to uh, how bright they are. But now here we are in the driving seat of the truck and it actually looks like I can't go any further down this little trail here. But just to show you, let's go ahead and shut these off. We'll turn them on, you can see that embankment there. I'll go ahead and turn on the headlights and look how much brighter that LED light is than even my headlights. So I've been rolling around with just the LED bar which is insane how much power or how much, uh, how much light output this bar has. It is crazy. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video installing the 30 inch LED light bar from Diode Dynamics. Definitely check out their website. I'll have that down in the description below along with the exact product that you see on the Tacoma. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.